Hello and welcome to Comcast Local Edition. I'm Donna Richardson. You know, a lot of us just stand on the sidelines and observe what's going on in the community. But a select few actually step up and run for elected office. And with me today is the Honorable Eugene Del Gordio from the Board of Supervisors. Welcome, Eugene. Thank you, Donna, for having me on the show. It's good to have you here. Now, I understand there's some great bargains going on in Sterling. Tell us about that. Well, we have a great, great opportunity for uh, average people. You know, we have homes that are built of steel and concrete, and uh, they have, they last for 50 years. These are uh, old houses by any standard, but because they were built by U.S. Steel, and we have what they call an assessment downturn, these houses could, and they're on large lots, so in the Northern Virginia region, uh, these houses are a tremendous bargain to buy and occupy, and they're uh, priced just right for a family or for a starter or a group. And essentially, it's an untold story because, well, realtors like to sell things a little high. I, I understand that. But in Sterling, you've got a bargain. And I know you also are telling me that public safety, which of course is in, important to all of us, you have a new facility that's coming into Sterling. Uh, Sterling has gotten in the news, but in response to that, the Loudoun County Board of Supervisors and the Sheriff are building a substation, uh, the second substation. We already have a model, but this substation is right in the community by an elementary school and has unanimous support of the community. It passed a referendum last year and it's already being built, even in this market. Uh, the county has gotten a, a bond to build it, construct it, and it will be finished and constructed uh, in the next six months. Oh, that's excellent. Now, we've probably, we've got a lot of different things I want to talk to you about today about Sterling, but you had a great community story to, well, to I, share. Well, I appreciate that. Uh, we, Sterling itself is the home of so many uh, volunteer organizations. Uh, Loudoun County uh, is, of course, home to a lot of, of, of charitable groups and, and civic groups. But Sterling Park in particular, we have an annual Knights of Columbus parade, uh, uh, on a, a Columbus Day parade. We have annual festivals called the Sterling Fest. We've got trees being planted in the boulevard. The Sterling Boulevard is our main conduit. Uh, 500 trees are being planted uh, last year. 500 trees will be planted this year. Uh, we're, our goal is to keep our little leagues and our football leagues funded and supported. But we had an incident where someone was robbed at Christmas time. And it was a tragedy for a mom and four children, a single mom. And the community in 48 hours by Christmas Eve returned all her money and all her, had toys for the children so that by Christmas Eve she had her Christmas. And the community, of course, wasn't going to let some Grinch come in and rob this uh, lady and her family of, of her uh, Christmas. Now, that's a great story. And also, now what do you attribute that close tie. I mean, you, you, you talked about having town hall meetings and community associations. We, we have had, uh, over the last year, uh, some incidents which the uh, community has responded in a very proactive way. We get kind of cranky if uh, we think the county or any government official is uh, ignoring. You know, I, I'm, of course, uh, one of the government officials that they, of course, call, and I respond very quickly. We've had four, five town meetings. The county itself called for some of these meetings. And over a thousand people from Sterling Park have been showing up, a community of about 12,000 citizens, and a thousand of them routinely showing up for a half a dozen community meetings. This is a fantastic show of involvement and commitment, and anyone moving into this community is going to be immediately accepted. I know, because I moved into the community nine years ago, and uh, the, everyone was told, this guy's an out-of-towner, and they elected me supervisor. That's, that's a tremendous story to be able to talk about the sense of unity that is, is embedded. Is this from the very inception of Sterling, something that's evolved over the years? Well, Sterling itself is a middle class group. Uh, uh, they have, uh, of course, the wonderful houses. They knew they were special. These houses are built with steel and concrete, and they will last uh, over 2,500 of these U.S. steel buildings. Uh, their homes on large lots. They knew they were special. So they stuck together, they formed their own commuter systems, they stuck, formed their own foundations, and they have their own festivities, and they will, they're sticking together like glue, and they're not leaving. That's perfect. Thank you so much, uh, Eugene, for coming in today. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having me. And thank you very much for watching Comcast Local Edition. I'm Donna Richardson.